All right, welcome to the Disciple Hotline. You can call the hotline at 954-580-FUNK. Leave a voicemail or text message and you'll be on the next show and we'll play your thing and we'll talk back at you. We got a couple voicemails in this week. You ready for that, sir? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Dude, (laughs) our first voicemail... I interviewed this fella a couple weeks ago. Let's play this guy's voicemail. Here we go. Hello, Dr. Phil. Really? Really? What I'm telling you here is, you know, I didn't just come in on a load of turnips. I know that. You seem to me to be a a very honest and straightforward individual. You can get self-righteous till the cows come home. I'm talking to you about the only person in this world you control, and that's you. You know, you gotta lighten up a little bit to get along. Quit taking yourself so damn seriously. Are you nuts? You gotta grow up. Are you avoiding reality? Are you mad at your mom? Are you taking medication? Do you go into the store and steal groceries? Are you like a stalker or something? Are you having sex? You're gonna smoke dope and and uh, have a good time. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I want you to start living as a gay woman. And I want you to start having a gay relationship. You, you can just write me off. And, and you can get mad at me. I, you know, I'm expendable. That's okay. You don't, you don't need me. I didn't do anything wrong. You know what? I'm not some schmo here. I deserve to be treated better than this. You don't have the right to do that. We've done everything we can do. I am totally at peace with this. I don't hate you. I don't resent you. I, I, I don't have any bad feelings or unfinished emotional business with you. Good. What I'm telling you here is you're a bitch. A rotten little bitch. Gotta run. Dude, Dr. Phil is really mean. Man, he needs a hug. Um, Dr. Phil, all due respect, sir, I'd like to uh, respectfully ask that you do not call the show again. Uh, and see somebody. Get help. You know what I'm saying? He's probably mad because the show got canceled. He's a fake doctor anyway, man. I called it out during his interview. He wanted to do cocaine with me. If you don't believe me, if you don't believe me, go back to the uh, episode where I interviewed Dr. Phil. There's a uh, a separate YouTube video on it, man. You can check that out, man. That ain't... It's real shit. Uh, well, fuck you, Dr. Phil. Hey, now we got two beefs. Charlemagne the God and Dr. Phil. Nice. Yeah. Hey, here's uh, the next voicemail. Hey. What's up, y'all? It's Billy. Count him four time, four time caller. Billy. Hey, guys, I just want to say what's up, man. I'm out here on the road. I'm driving. It's dark. I am fairly certain I can see the road. Um, dude, so like, you guys are getting into some good discussions and stuff, man. I told you, you know, I heard the, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! <laughs> hey. You know, I heard, uh, President Trump had, a uh, coronavirus. And that, that makes me sad, man. I mean... I'm still all for making America great again with Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, but, you know, the president's sick, and, uh, it's bringing it down a little bit. What do you guys, what do you guys think about the president being sick, y'all? Anyway, y'all, whoop, whoop, Billy out. No, I'm so glad he was able to get a whoop whoop out there at the end because I've never seen Billy lose energy so quickly like that. You know, he's sad about the president being sick, dude. Yeah. Um, I mean, as much as, much as the president's sometimes uh, narcissistic, egotistic, racist, right supremacist, um, he's still a human being somewhat, and, you know, you don't want someone to be sick. Yeah, buddy. 
Um, word, son, word. Okay, um, well, that was the Disciple Hotline. And um, we're going to go to the next uh, thing here. All right, uh, Billy, don't, um, you know, we're going to talk about Trump here soon. And uh, don't don't be scared, buddy. Uh, president's going to be okay. Uh, we'll make America great again with Joe Biden. Everything will be okay, Billy. Everything will be okay, I promise. We love you, buddy. Check you later.